Alexa, what's on at the local cinema? Here are a few films playing in London today. La La Land. T2 Transport. Alexa, stop. So not super helpful because it's just what's generally... Alexa, stop. Sorry. Thanks for the feedback. Um, I see what's, what's La, here. La La Land. Alexa, stop. T2. La La Land. T2 Transport. It's obsessed with Ryan Gosling. Jackie. Alexa, Magic. stop. La La Land. So this is serious um, Jackie. Manchester. 2001 Space Odyssey, Land. HAL type and storage. thing. So that's your Alexa. Yeah. Do you call it an, your Alexa or uh, your Echo? Or how do you refer to um, it? We usually refer to it. Interestingly, immediately and slightly alarmingly, we started amplifying it. Uh, and so we do refer to it as by its name. I'm not going to say it because it does that thing of waking up. Um, you've got to be quite careful when you say, Hey, Alexa. Just imagine you just walked in. What, how would you use it in a... Alexa, play Radio 6. BBC Radio 6 music on TuneIn. This week. Unbelievable. Good morning, music lover. You're and um, so you've fit the volume. Alexa, volume 5. Breakfast team from Marvellous Start to Wednesday. Alexa, volume 7. One o'clock with uh, the usual mix of the unusual. Slime, Alexa, Robbie, volume Behem, three. Alex, Arcade Fire, and Mavis See, it's Stables meant to be able to have the, the directional we'll mic that picks up the over on the sound of the radio. That doesn't work Irish perfectly, as you can see. Alexa, volume three. So it's, it semi works. I mean, that's the thing with a lot of. Um, uh, there's a thing that Bran Ferrer, who uh, wrote songs for the Grateful Dead, said that he said, "Technology is stuff that doesn't work yet." In other words, by the time we've got, you know, glasses are technology, they're really important technology. Oh, for me, arguably the most important technology in, in daily life. But we don't think of them as being technologies because we got completely used to them. Clocks are technology. Um, we experience things as being technology when they're new, when they're in that kind of transitional phase between they've just been invented, but they're not kind of invisible to us, so that we can stop thinking about them in the way that we stop thinking about glasses and clocks and taps. And this is in that intermediate thing, it, you know, as, as in Brand Ferris' words, it, it doesn't work yet. It kind of semi and mostly works. Um, and, you know, it's going to be an interesting transition now from the point when these things become ubiquitous and effectively invisible. Mm. Alexa, volume 10. Lovely show, and I'm starting off with a rather wonderful new track. This is the Thiev Thievery Corporation. Alexa, volume three. A lady called Raquel Jones yeah, on vocals. You can turn it down by. I think I think it's like it's like um, it's a like sort of kamikaze move taking it to volume ten because I'm not sure you can ever turn it back down. So why did you get it? Well, I got it for a relative, a relative who's losing her sight. And has it worked well? Well, it works. You know, um, it it works for. I say it does about. 80% of the things we wanted it to do. So things like the weather forecast. Um, she was a great Guardian reader and there's a very good Guardian. Um, they're called skills, rather emetically, instead of apps or programmes or whatever. What well, a skill is like an app? A skill is an app. It's just an, um, it's this kind of annoying alternative Amazon word for an app. Here it's on my, um, I've got my phone. Um, there's an Amazon Alexa app um, and you, um, Rock, Paper, Scissors, Lizard, Spock. Rock, Paper, Scissors, Lizard, Spock is a, a nerd variant on Rock, Paper, Scissors. So uh, instead of just the traditional three, it adds um, Spock, who I think vaporises the rock, um, is poisoned by the lizard, and the, my favourite, the paper disproves Spock. Alexa, open Lizard, Spock. I've made my choice. What's your choice? Rock. I choose paper, and paper covers rock. Alexa, one, you, zero. It's cheating. Ready for another round. Uh, um, Alexa? Great. Let's continue. I've made my choice. What's your choice? Lizard. I choose scissor. And scissors decapitates lizards. Oi, I'm Alexa, going first and it just two, thinks that's outrageous. Three, zero. That's Ready shameless. Alexa, stop. Okay, our game finished this way. Alexa, two, 
You, zero. I won. I'm the best in this game. Come back to challenge me. I'll be waiting for you. You know, different tech companies have, you know, they often have a kind of, um, they, their DNA often has the traces of where they come from. So things like Sony's products, Sony's very much run by engineers, so they're often slightly over-engineered. They're, they can do lots of amazing things, but if you just look at um, a PS, Paul's sort of, um, you know, just the screen of options. It's 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 confusing. It's not intuitive. It, it's not customer facing. And the thing about Amazon, you can tell they're not really, um, you know, that it's um, its DNA comes out of shopping and um, some of the some bits of it. Just as um, some of the search stuff is quite ragged on Amazon's website. You know, if you're looking, if you're trying to buy, if you're looking at a book and there are different versions of it, it it's often quite opaque. You have to figure it out for yourself. And um, the skills section, the skills website, the skills app is incredibly messy and unintuitive to use. And there's all sorts of things on there that you know, would be useful if you could find, but you often can't find them. Alexa, what's the exchange rate with the euro? One pound is worth one euro and sixteen cents. Alexa, read the Wikipedia entry for Supreme Court. Drivers who commit the most serious speeding offences are to be fined 150% of their week. Alexa, stop. <laughs> um, Alexa, open Wikipedia. I can't find that skill. To find skills, go to the skills section of the Alexa app. Is that because you're not enunciating it very well? I don't know. Oh, hang on. Alexa, Wikipedia, US Supreme Court. The Supreme Court of the United States is the highest... Alexa, stop. Field. So that's an example there. If I had to... Um, I was trying to remember how I got to open Wikipedia and I couldn't remember and then actually had to look it up. So if you have um, a Spotify account, which we do, um, you know, it can access that. So it can play, pr you know, pretty much any music in the world. Alexa, play Johnny Cash. Playing songs by Johnny Cash from Spotify. Um... Oh, I love this song. Alexa, play uh, My Dad Wrote a Porno. I can't find I wrote my dad a letter in your music library. What have I uh, what's it called, the thing? Alexa, play podcasts. Here's a station you might like, Ben Howard. What, what do you want to hear? What the hell's Ben Howard? If you're used to technology and the, the thing we're talking about where it sort of semi works, all this is fine. For, from the point of view of the person I was trying to set it up for, this is really disconcerting when it just doesn't understand, it doesn't do what it says. And it's sort of, um, my relative, you know, would be freaking out at this point. Alexa, open tune in. I can't find that skill. See, tune in was. Go to the skills section of the Alexa app. Tune-in was the thing that it plays all its radio stations on, so it's the thing it's actually playing as we speak, and it says it can't find it. Alexa, play Radio Lab. Getting the latest episode of right. Radio Lab. Here it is from Tune-in. But it's funny that it didn't know it wouldn't play My Dad Wrote a Porno, which it has played in the past. One of the things about voices as a form of input is that from the point of view of the big computing companies it's a way of get you know you we, we can't be on our screens more you know there just aren't enough hours in the day and it's a way of extracting more um more of our attention more of our online time even when you know we don't have a device in our hands what are we doing now okay so uh, i thought it might be a laugh to do a, a product test just to check out um some searches using alexa and um siri see it work it up at the same time, just to see which. not a name I can respond to. Um, to see which um, which is quicker, which is more accurate. Um, so, to, I'm going to say the wake word. And so, okay. Um, Alexa, what are the football scores? If you'd like to know what yesterday's or today's football scores were, just say, for example, what were yesterday's football scores? And Siri did it.
until you got the Premier League, which is interesting. And um, you still haven't got anything from... No, and it was wanting the... Um, you know, it wanting to be correct formatted, which interestingly, Siri, the thing it heard was Alexa, what are the football store scores? But it still did the Premier League schedule for Premier League schedule for week 23. Alexa, what's the weather tomorrow? Tomorrow in London, there will be showers with a high of 10 and a low of 7. Don't forget your raincoat, John, said Siri. Uh, Alexa, tell a joke. What does a pirate say on his 80th birthday? Hi, matey. Oh, <laughs> Alexa, tell a knock knock joke. Knock knock. Who? Who's there? Isabel. Isabel who? Isabel not working. I rang four times before I started knocking. Well. I like the first one. Yes. I should try to see. They, in the old days, it only had one knock-knock joke. I'll see if it has another one. Alexa, tell a knock-knock joke. Knock-knock. Who's there? Boo. Boo-hoo. Don't cry. It's only a joke. I see. That, so that's a, an instance of it having been upgraded in the back end because um, uh, around Christmas, it only knew one knock-knock joke. The thing that it for... Us does is it just replaces the radio. We had an old radio that conked out, um, and uh, an old digital radio. Um, and I, you know, was trying this out for relative and thought we'd use it here mainly, uh, mainly for the radio. And that is indeed mainly what we do. It's a mainly a voice-operated radio and music playback. Um, uh, and as I say, you know, the potential for kind of um, new form of access to computing, new form of accessibility, um, you know, and targeting, helping with digital exclusion, all that stuff. The potential's there, but it really does rely on the people who make these devices making that a, a kind of a real, a real priority, which um, I hope they do.